The MBTA is investigating after they say a commuter rail train heading inbound derailed before arriving at the Lansdowne station. Now we are told no one was hurt. Good evening, everyone. I'm Katie Brace. And I'm Liam Martin. Keolis is blaming human error, saying that a switch was not set properly. WBZ's Jim Smith has the latest. Well, Liam and Katie, the train is still on the tracks, and right now, tonight, there's some new information. But first, let's take a look at the work ongoing. In fact, this work has been going on for a couple of hours. Keolis now says a short section of track was actually damaged by this derailment. And now, if you use this line tomorrow morning, you're being asked to plan for an additional 20 to 30 minutes in travel time. A busy scene on the tracks as passengers are carefully ushered off of a stranded commuter rail train and taken to a different train. It's all the result of what the MBTA is calling a slow speed derailment late Thursday afternoon. A derailment Keolis now says is believed to have been caused by human error in not setting a switch properly. The eastbound train went off the tracks just outside of Lansdowne Station. The T says no injuries were reported and no passengers were on the actual coach that derailed. Up the street at Lansdowne Station, though, there was confusion as a westbound train was stopped, held up by that derailment. Those passengers getting off and trying to figure out how to get home. The conductor got on the phone on the intercom and told us that there was a train derailed up ahead and it was taking up both the tracks. The train to Worcester make it all stop. And later, westbound passengers were being bused from South Station to Newtonville Station, where they were placed on outbound trains. Eastbound passengers were bused to South Station. I should be home about an hour ago. But uh, I guess it's one of those things, huh? We got on at Back Bay. We were on the train for an hour and a half. Hour and a half, yeah. And then we went back to South Station. We also we had to pick up the passengers from the derailed train. Obviously a challenging morning for commuters earlier tonight. It'll be challenging in the morning for people who use this line. That's one more look at the gigantic crane that they brought in. They hoisted this train up ever so slightly and they made some type of adjustments, but it's anybody's guess how long they will be at it here as they continue to try to get this big rig off of these tracks. This will be an overnight story. It will impact the morning commute. So certainly give a look to WBZ this morning for the very latest on all of this. Until then, live at the scene. Jim Smith, WBZ News. Jim, thank you. The